We're a traditional ILAC, so we have a network that's developed over the last 113 years, uh, primarily buried copper, but over the last few years we've been extending fiber farther and farther out into the country and we'll connect the fiber to a remote, a digital remote, uh, such as the one that uh, Adtran makes or Tel Labs, and then we uh, uh, will connect that to our existing copper plant in order to provide DSL out to the customer from that point. Right now we're just over 50% penetration for broadband. Uh, I believe the last time we looked it was 52% company-wide and uh, it continues to grow every month. So uh, uh, broadband is very popular. Our fastest speed is 6 megabits a second so uh, that's, that's comparable to what uh, a lot of people would expect to get in the city. Uh, and it's, it's certainly fast enough, even 3 meg or, or 1.5 meg is fast enough for most video that they might want to see. Um, most of our customers seem to be using their broadband for uh, just for email and for surfing the web and things like that. But more and more uh, we have people wanting to subscribe to Netflix and, and get at least some video over the web. Well for us it's, it's primarily uh, going out in the country and extending fiber to remotes and shortening up the copper loops as much as possible. Uh, if we want to, uh, probably our next step would be to go to 20 meg per second and that would mean getting those loops down under 5,000 feet and uh, that's going to be a, a very expensive thing to do. So uh, what we're doing as much as we can though is just adding, adding remotes and shortening up those loops. From the network perspective, uh, it, it probably is just anticipating where uh, development's going to be. Uh, we live in an area that 20 years ago was all large ranches, uh, and now many of those ranches have been subdivided, and uh, there's still fairly large tracts of land, you know, 150, 200, 300 acres. Uh, but uh, that would be out of a, a 10, 12,000 acre ranch. So being able to anticipate where that growth might be uh, is, is probably the most difficult thing. That and our distance uh, from the internet backbone, it's very expensive to get the transport we need uh, to get on the internet. Well, we, we are using uh, uh, the ADTRAN uh, TA5000 and, and also the, uh, I believe it's the 1124, which works really well for us because it'll serve uh, uh, 24 customers. And most of the remotes are built to serve 128 customers or 256 or something, but uh, uh, we, we have a lot of situations where we need a very small remote and we only have six, eight customers to serve. So um, uh, uh, we, we have that. We also uh, have, have deployed through the years a, a lot of Tel Labs equipment uh, and uh, we'll, we'll be continuing to deploy that kind of, that kind of equipment.